One of the most profound things that stuck out for me lately that I saw a male relationship Google, Google say was that men know your worth, they just don't care. This is men who don't value it. I'm speaking up, not all of them. So we'll, So while we're around here saying, oh, he doesn't know what he has. He doesn't know my worth. He does. A lot of times they don't care and they don't take the time to find out what your worth is. So they they can't really say they fully know you. They can't say that they know anything about you to even know what your value is. But you know you have it. You know you have it. They know you have some. That's why they dealt with you in the first place. It wasn't just because you were fine or you gave good head or... And I don't mean to be graphic or or anything like that. Yet some of them are shallow and they only care about what's on their arm and high women, high certain women like BBWs, BB, closet BBW lovers you have and, and some who don't like dark skinned women. Some, you know, they, they, they definitely hide women when they get ready to. But it's like, you know my worth. So I'm, I... And I was always the one who would go bend over backwards trying to show it. And, and, you know, and I'm ride or die. Man, I'm not riding or dying for anybody who does not have the capability of putting something on his finger or hyphenating my name. I think I made a video about this recently. I probably had on the same house dress. At least it's clean. Um, but if you if you haven't done that, we haven't had the, uh, made the time to hyphenate my name or put a ring on this finger. I'm not writing or dying for you. I've stopped doing that. And it's like, I know my value. You know my value. You just don't care. And I definitely want somebody who cares about having a good woman on their side. I definitely want somebody who, who appreciates the value of having a good woman. Who takes the time to find out what my qualities are who values them, who appreciates them, who longs to them, who craves them. That I have the same feeling about. Because you always have people out there who have that feeling about you, who you don't have the same feeling about. And I'm telling you, ladies, trust your instincts. Don't let anybody make you feel guilty because you don't want to date them. A lot of guys have, have tried to do that to me. And they turn out to be certified crazy-ass people. Crazy-ass people. And it's like, oh my God, I dodged the bullet. I'm like, I dodged the bullet. And there's a lot of dudes out there who missed out on blessings when it came to me. And and to my friends. And, and, you know, I know a lot of women who are going through this. I'm not experiencing this long. I definitely am changing the direction of my mindset. I'm not going to let anybody or anything make me be as melancholy or sad or depressed or woe is me. And, oh, I'm single and I hate being single when I know that I have someone that's coming and something in store for me. Unfortunately, these days, everybody doesn't get married at 30. But let me tell you, when I was younger, by 30, I wanted to have a house. 2.5 kids and a dog. I'm nowhere near that. I have one kid. I rent. I don't have a husband. But I don't feel any less adequate than anyone else. I still feel like I'm an adequate person. I still feel like I am a good catch. Just nobody caught me yet. And like I said, I'm not going to be melancholy and sad about it. I decided that that's not what I want to be anymore. I don't want to be bitter and woe is me and posting all the sad relationship memes all the time. I don't want to do that no more. Because I'm telling you, if you stay in that mind state, you're going you're gonna to manifest that for yourself. And I'm trying to manifest more positive things for myself. I really, really am. Better career. Um, manifesting love and happiness. Manifesting being a homeowner. Manifesting so many different things. And I don't feel like by me saying this out loud, I won't get these things because my God is stronger than anybody. 
So anything anybody wishes negative against me or ill against me, it it won't work. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. It will not work. That was that was one of the songs they sang at church on Saturday. Yes, I go on Saturdays because I feel like Sundays is too crowded. But I, I definitely, definitely know that there are people out there who missed the blessing when it came to me. And I would try to prove it and, and was never given an opportunity to prove it. And I'm like, why though? Why are you trying to cling to somebody who doesn't want to cling to you? Why are you trying to show somebody who doesn't want to see it? Like, to me, that's when you look on it and look at it in hindsight, it's kind of crazy ass logic. Like, why was I doing that? Now, that doesn't mean I don't love the person anymore. It doesn't mean that I don't have deep feelings for them, but I love me more and I'm got to be smarter. So that's what I'm doing. I cannot, I just cannot allow myself to be. Saddled, saddled with sadness and depression and and, and 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 tears and pain and disharmony and and not be at peace. I just can't do that anymore. It's it's affecting my mental. It's gonna start affecting my physical. And it's like I gotta I gotta make sure that I am taking care of me, even if it means that I have to be alone. And nobody could ever say to me. You didn't try. You didn't try to show me. You wasn't ride or die. You weren't this. You weren't that. How would you know? You never gave me a chance. So how would you know? How would you know what I was? That that'd be my question if they ever came to me and anybody ever came to me and said, "Well, I didn't know that about you because you didn't try to show it." Yeah, I absolutely did. You people see what they want to see. People see exactly what they want to see, and they're not they're not blind. They see what they want to see when they get ready to see it. But by the time they get ready to see it, it doesn't mean that you always have to be available because ships sail all the time. And sometimes you got to let them sail. Sail far away into the distance that that, that person kept in their own ship. They could have had you as a bomb ass co-captain, but they didn't want that. That's what it is. And I'm going to keep saying, oh, you missed out on the bus then. You're missing out on a blessing because I know I'm a blessing. I know I am definitely a blessing to any man that is lucky enough to get me. And it is true. I'm not single because I can't get a man. But I have to make sure when I do choose one that he is a good option. I'm too old to just be settling when I settle down. I want him to be a good option, good for my future, good for my present. And that makes a lot of sense. Whether I'm 45 or not, that doesn't make a difference. Whoever I deal with, hopefully it'll be long term and I got to spend the rest of my days with them. I don't want to spend the rest of my days in misery. I've been miserable and sad enough. I want eternal happiness. Besides when I die and, and, and you know, go be with Jesus and my mama. I want that here. While I'm still here, if I'm with somebody, I want to enjoy my time with them. I don't want to argue, fuss, fight, be miserable. I don't want to be broke. I don't want to be struggling. I don't want to do any of that. I don't feel like that's something that you should have to do when you have somebody that's meant for you. I feel like y'all will compliment each other and y'all will be so happy. And that's what I desire. That's what I love for. That's what I'm going to manifest. I don't know how long it's going to take. I stopped counting when I realized I wasn't getting married at 30, by 30. So I, and I didn't, I didn't devalue myself. I didn't feel like I was worth any less. And I, I may have acted like it in certain circumstances with certain people. But sometimes you're blinded by love. But I won't refuse to be blinded anymore. But like, and like I said, that does not mean I don't love somebody. Because you don't just turn it off overnight. You don't just stop loving people overnight. But it doesn't mean you can't love yourself more. So, whoever sees this, if this is something you've experienced or you're going through, hang in there. Your time is coming. Your day is coming. And you will get blessed with what you deserve. So, I'm out. Like, there's...